Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how you can send WhatsApp messages from your C Sharp program. There are only four steps for you to follow. For the first three steps, you will do them on your own because I will focus on step number four in this video. But don't worry, they are very simple steps to follow. If you look at the description of this video, you will find a link that will take you to another video which specifically teaches you how to do steps one, two, and three. Now, let's get back to business, that is, writing our C Sharp program. I will click on this C Sharp link to see the source code. On this page, you will see the detailed instructions as to how you can write the C-Sharp program. Of course, we see the entire source code here as well. Without further ado, let's copy the source code. Just select the text and press Ctrl-C to do that. Let's switch to Visual Studio to paste the source code there. Now, I will press Ctrl-V to paste the source code here. In case you don't know how to create this Visual C Sharp project, I'll briefly show you how. First, you click on File, New, Project. In this dialog box, you click on Visual C Sharp on the left pane. In the middle pane, you choose Console Application. Then, you say OK. Alright? Now, let's get back to our source code. There's only one change you will have to make. Let's go to line 18. As you can see, there are only two parameters on this line. The first parameter is the destination number. That is, the number you want to send the message to. In this case, it's going to be your own WhatsApp number. I'm going to type in a random number here for demonstration. Don't forget to put down the country code at the beginning of your number. For example, if you're from the United States, the country code is 1. So you will have to put down 1 at the beginning here. The second parameter is the content of the message you want to send. In this example, I will say, this is my c -sharp program. Alright? Before we can compile and run the program, there's one more important thing we need to do. We'll have to add a reference to the project. Here's how you do it. On the right-hand side, you right-click on the project. Not the solution, but the project. Don't get this wrong. In the pop-up menu, you choose Add. Then you click on Reference. On the left-hand side, you choose Framework. In the middle pane, you scroll down the list to look for this guy. System Web Extensions. Click on the little checkbox to select it. Then you say OK. Now we're ready to execute the program. To do that, all you need to do is click on this Start button here. Right here. Let's click on it now. See? This is my C-Sharp program. The message has been sent! Was that simple and fun? If you also want to have some fun, sign up and try it out for yourself now! Thank you for watching.